GRMC is responding to the allegations of medical mal malpractice in Superior Court. They are denying that they are responsible for the death of a patient who spent 72 days at the hospital. Here's more. The family of Ramon Samwe is suing GRMC for $250,000 in damages, alleging the hospital overdosed the patient, then covered up the mistake for several weeks. According to their complaint, Sumwe arrived in June last year via ambulance with physical or mental distress and that GRMC physician Dr. Felix Cabrera offered to give Sumwe a quote certain strong medication end quote because nothing else seemed to be working. The family agreed but says Sumwe continued to deteriorate into a vegetative state. Sumway spent several weeks in the ICU, was discharged, but landed back at a hospital, this time the Guam Memorial Hospital, a few days later where he died. Their complaint alleges that Dr. Cabrera and other GRMC employees then met with the family after Sumway's death, in which Dr. Cabrera allegedly apologized to the family and told them that an emergency room nurse had overdosed Sumway by accident the day he first arrived at GRMC. However, GRMC denies the allegations and says, to the contrary, they actually saved Sumway's life the day he was brought to the emergency room by ambulance, and that had it not been for the care they provided, Sumway would have died within minutes of arriving. In their reply, GRMC says Dr. Cabrera was not even on duty at the time Sumway was first brought to the ER in the afternoon, and that it was another physician that attended to him. Dr. Cabrera didn't arrive at GRMC until 7 p.m. that evening, court papers state, and it wasn't until midnight that Dr. Cabrera told the family, quote, he would have had to administer a strong drug, epinephrine, by continuous drip because Ramon's condition was so critical, end quote. According to GRMC, the family consented. GRMC then acknowledges that Ramon spent 72 days at GRMC and was, for the most part, in a vegetative state. They point out that the family had a do not resuscitate or DNR instruction on the patient and that he died while at GMH, not at GRMC. But what about the family meeting where Dr. Cabrera allegedly told the family that GRMC overdosed their loved one? GRMC acknowledged that a meeting took place, and while they deny allegations that Dr. Cabrera took responsibility for overdosing Sumwe, GRMC does not specify in court papers what was discussed at the meeting. In addition, GRMC points out that the medical expenses incurred by Sumwe's stay racked up at $750,000, but that they continue to provide medical care to Sumwe despite knowing that he did not have medical insurance or the means to pay for his care. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Rebecca Elmore. GRMC is also seeking dismissal of the case, pointing out that the plaintiff has not exhausted all available remedies, such as arbitration, and therefore the Superior Court lacks subject matter jurisdiction. 